Peggy 12. Hearts of Iron 4 is a grand strategy war game. When you want to have the full experience of managing a nation in World War II, you want to play Hearts of Iron 4. We're trying to capture more than just the actual fighting in the war. What leads up to the war, technology, espionage, all that stuff. And it's a unique game experience in that it allows you to really fight the war as it was fought, not with a few units on the ground, but this grand epic scale with armies, navies and air forces all across the world. There's so many things that are interesting about World War II. There was like an obvious bad guy and the whole world got involved. It's like this huge conflict between good and evil or different ideologies. We talk about it as if it was one war, but the Second World War wasn't one war, it was a number of wars during the same time. There were three aggressive states at that time. Germany had already started its expansive policy with occupation of Austria. Japan had also started the war in China. The democratic states, France and Great Britain, they were defensive at the time. They didn't want to go to war in Europe. Hartschweiern has always been a game about the conflict between Axis allies and the communists. Players are going to be playing with hindsight in mind, you know. They know that Hitler is going to start some shit in Europe. Initially, the Axis will probably be expanding, and it will take a while for the democracies to get together and actually be able to stop them. As long as you sort of follow that historically, you're going to kind of expect a fairly historical um, kind of playthrough, but uh, you can also step off that path. For me personally, it's the what-if scenarios. What would happen if uh, Japan opened up a second front when the Germans invaded Russia? If the Germans had won the race about the atomic bomb, or if um, Allied invasion in Normandy in June 1944 had failed, the world would have been very different. It is an opportunistic AI that will actually try to win, but they will have uh, restrictions on how it will think depending on who, what leader or party is in power. The challenge is to create a system where the results of your actions truly matter. The what if, that's the question about if we want to answer when you're playing Heart Iron. To make an interesting game, you would have lots of mechanics that actually tie into each other. If you tweak this part, you want to see an effect over here. It's both interesting uh, gameplay-wise and design-wise, and also it's how the real world works. Little thing like allocating a few more uh, dockyards to build submarines may be the small thing that decides if you win or lose. I think Hearts of Iron is probably our most complex project we've ever done. It's unique in so many ways when it comes to the level of different ways you can try to play it out. We want to deliver on the promise we've given to players since the first game and really give the ultimate World War II experience. To play Hearts of Iron as we always meant it to be. <laughs>